Once all of your holes have been punched and you have 19 on both the right and left of all three panels, the next step is gonna to be to sew. So you're gonna take your embroidery floss and you're gonna cut a little bit more than an arm's length. Okay, you are going to thread the needle. Okay, and you can see there's just a little pulled through. Do not tie the embroidery thrust the embroidery floss to the needle just leave it just like this with a little bit overlapping as it goes through the needle and then on the other end we are going to tie a few knots okay you want these knots to be overlapping so that way the embroidery floss does not go through the holes all right we want it to be nice and secure at the bottom so when we start with the sewing, we're gonna start down at 19. We want the whole, the knot to be on the inside of the lantern. So we are going to start by going down through the 19th hole, so that knot shouldn't pull through, okay? And then you are going to go up through 18, okay? Then you are going to go down through 17, Okay, you're going to go up on the other side through 16, down through 15, up through 14, so you can see as I'm doing this, these stitches are fully over from the left hand side to the right hand side so it doesn't go under and then over it's fully over on this side on a diagonal line none of these stitches should be straight across everything should be diagonal and you are alternating as you go on one side you are going under And on the other side, you are going over and down through that hole. So take your time. Do not rush through this, okay? If you rush, you're gonna get knots, your stitches are gonna get messed up. But the good thing about this is you can always pull out the embroidery thread and start over if you mess up. So I'm gonna continue down through nine. Up, so up from the back through eight, down through seven, up through six, and you don't want to pull these too tight otherwise they won't bend when we go to put them all together. All right, so I went, now I'm gonna go down through five. Up through four. So again, that means up from the bottom. Down through the top of three. Up through two and then down through one when we get to the top here okay because there's nowhere on a diagonal to go we are going to go horizontally across this is going to be your only horizontal stitch so that stitch is actually going to be on the outside okay so you can see here it's on the outside that horizontal stitch everything else is a diagonal Okay, and then we're gonna continue the same way we went up. So we're gonna go down through two, up from the bottom through three, down through four, up through five, And I'm gonna continue doing this all the way to the bottom. Once I reach the bottom, I am going to knot the other end of my thread, just like I've done here. 
and you are going to be all set. So you can see, even though this is not completely finished, you can see these X's that have been created with the stitches once you go back down on the other side after you've done that top stitch through holes um, one and one. So every stitch then should have an X just like that. No horizontal lines, no vertical lines. Everything should be a full diagonal and we're gonna have these X's all the way down. Okay, and we're gonna knot the other end of the yarn, the, the other end of the embroidery floss at hole 19 once we've reached the end.